Hey guys, what's up? It's Carlo, Strike Room 78, and today I'm going to be doing a reaction to the second official trailer for Dune Part 2. And I gotta say, <laughs> I'm really excited about this one because I watched basically the all of, all the all of Dune. Like um, I've watched the 1984 movie by David Lynch, including the extended cuts both the official and fan-made. And I've also watched the sci-fi miniseries, and as well as uh, Children of Dune. And th those were all, those were all wonderful. And I also saw, and I, and I actually saw the Dune part one. And I actually really loved it, because I've also read the original book by Fra Frank Herbert. Even though I haven't read Children of Dune, Dune Messiah, or any of the other spin-offs by his uh, son, Brian. I still loved the saga of Dune, well, because it's one of my favorite uh, science fiction uh, sagas of all time. So, anyway, I'm going to be doing a reaction to the second trailer of Dune Part 2. Stay tuned. All right, here goes. Destruction of House Atreides by House Harkonnen. Oh, RPG. Yeah, the ancient tongues. Gurney. That's right, he's riding the sandworm. Oh, mm. The water of life. Princess Zerulan and the Padishah Emperor Shaddam the Fourth. Fae Harkonnen in the gladiatorial pit. Oh. Ah, ya ho, Long live the fighters of Wadib. The breach of the shield wall. <laughs> so anyway, I just um, finished watching the trailer, and I gotta say, I'm impressed. Having Christopher Walken become the Padishah Emperor and Florence Pugh as Princess Irulan and um, Austin Butler as Fade Rautha, those are, those are treats. But right now, um, I gotta say I'm really impressed, and um, and I'm also I don't react as um, as uh, over the top as um, other others do when it comes to things that they things that they like especially when it comes to video games or movies 
or um, or TV, but I gotta say that I'm all, I'm just as excited as them. But m my reactions are always uh, like um, they're like subdued, and now I'm not the kind of as I said I'm not the kind of guy who uh, who who reacts um, over the top like they do. And well, anyway, I just wanted also wanted to to give my thoughts about the Dune Saga itself, especially when I saw a YouTuber comparing it to the Star Wars Saga, and that kind of irked me a little bit. And so, the reason why I'm going to... That, that's one of the reasons why I'm going to be doing my uh, my views on, on about, the, the plot, about the plot of Dune and the plot of Star Wars, and how they're kind of just more, more like more dissimilar to each other. The Star Wars saga is basically about fighting for freedom against an imperial oppressor, and they're just uh, trying to fight for freedom overall, for for all sentient beings. But Dune is a different beast entirely, because there's a lot of politics involved, and most especially when it and also it's mo also motivated by greed. And not in that, and because and the source of that greed in the Dune universe is the spice melange. It's commodity. It's used by the Spacing Guild to fold space for interstellar travel, and 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 also for others. It, it it's a drug that help that helps them uh, that helps them sustain uh, sustain helps sustain life, and give them a longer life expectancy. And um, <clears throat> and there's a lot of political backstabbing. And the Padishah Emperor Shaddam the Fourth, and that that was his plot to ha to have House Atreides occupy Arrakis in place of House Harkonnen, which is uh, had a which has had a foothold over Arrakis for centuries, and having uh, House Har Atreides um, replace Harkonnens, it would cause a lot of jealousy, and um, and also it would also cause jealousy amongst the other houses of the Landsrat because House Atreides is viewed as one of the most trustworthy and also one of the most noble of the houses of the Landsrat, and and a lot and there's a and a lot there was a lot, not a lot not a lot of the, the other houses of the Landsrat appreciate that. And most especially, House Carino, where the Padishah Emperor Shaddam the Fourth, that's his family. And uh, and that plot in descending um, House Atreides to Arrakis, that would it would cause the Harkonnens to launch their sneak attack on House Atreides, and and that's what led them to their to their um, to their night assault. On this, on the fortress city of Arakeen, basically wiping out a majority of the Atreides' uh, fighting force from Caladan, and and it, and it forced um, Lady Jessica and her son Paul to flee, and and also the and also the Duke Leto Atreides dying at the hands of Baron Vladimir Harkonnen. And there's also a lot of um, there's also a lot of internal conflict amongst the uh, the Fremen sieges, their communities who um, <clears throat> who who are scattered all across Arrakis, and um, in some of them in a lot of them in, uh, in in caverns underground, and and that's where they also sustain. That's where they also um, store a lot of their water supplies. Because to, because in Arrakis water is also a very precious commodity, and they treat it with reverence. And also and also Paul, and and he's also he's he's uh, in a way using the the legend um, that that was planted by the Bene Gesserit Sisterhood into uh, <clears throat> and where they. Um, they planted the story of of a mother and a son coming from, coming from off world into Arrakis, and then 
leading the Fremen to true freedom. And and that and that's the that's their that's their Messiah story where the where the where the where the son becomes the Mahdi, and the and and both the mother and son are known in their language as the Lisan Agaib, the voice from the outer world. <clears throat> and and Paul he kind of uses that to to his advantage to um to, to lead the Fremen into battle against House Harkonnen. And and he's also using also he's also using that to avenge the death of his father, Duke Leto. <clears throat> and the and and as it's mentioned before in the um, in the first movie as well at, at Dune Part One and in the um, nineteen eighty four movie especially and in. In the in the Dune miniseries, the Bene Gesserit Sisterhood, they've been manipulating bloodlines for centuries, trying to produce what they call the Kwisatz Haderach, the super being, so that, so that they can control him, and um, and also so that they could uh, he so that he could serve their purposes. But but sometimes uh, fate may not um, go according to plan. So anyway, this is my um, reaction to the the second trailer of Dune Part Two, as well as my analysis of of the Dune Saga from the first book, and in compare in comparison to the Star Wars Saga. Anyway, if you like um, what you what you're watching, please hit the subscribe button, press the like, and also hit the notification button for any new videos I may post. I'm not a. I may not be a regular YouTuber because I don't um, post a comment. I mean, I mean, post content like this uh, on a on a daily or weekly basis because I also have um, I also have a, a job that I also love. I'm also a. Uh, I'm also I'm also a chef. <clears throat> so anyway, to all my subscribers, thank you for your support, and to all my, to all my, and to also my. To any new subscribers who who have joined, welcome, and I also really appreciate the support, and I also appreciate the love that you've given me. To I really do appreciate it. Anyway, this is Strike Freedom seventy eight signing off, telling everyone to be safe and above all, be kind. Peace out.